Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you popular YA series that I'm not going to finish. So I feel like this one will be somewhat controversial, but we are all entitled to our own opinions. But these are ones that I've either kind of read like the first part of the series and then like kind of the continuations. I don't plan on reading or I've read the first book and I know for sure that I'm like not reading any more about it so I feel like this is a good variety of kind of popular YA series um, so yeah without further ado let's get started and I also like to say this is nothing against YA I do tend to read more adult literary kind of fiction but I do have some like YA fantasy like series or just like it's mostly fantasy <laughs> or historical fiction that I tend to gravitate towards so this is nothing against YA I just realized when I was like looking at my shelf that the majority of kind of series that I plan on not continuing are YA so I just decided to clump them all together so the first one it has to be Twilight by Stephanie Meyer I will say that I think it was in right before the movies came out I think like the year before I want to say this is like 20 2007 2000 I think it was 2007 my aunt got me all four of the Twilight books for my birthday and this was before like the movie craze came out so I didn't really know much about it and so I was like oh this is exciting like a new series like my cousins really liked it my aunt read them once and so she's like oh like we'll give them like I give a the quartet to Lexi for her birthday and so I went in without kind of the preconceived like like I guess like dialogue of Twilight not knowing like the background chatter of what people were saying about it and so I gave it a try and the first book was honestly like like <laughs> horrible like 13 year old Lexi knew back then how bad this series was and so I was just like nope not for me like it was just <laughs> so bad I'm like the writing like even I even knew the writing was terrible and I was just like Bella is not a good role model it's like there's so many problematic aspects that are like wrong with this and I knew as a young teenager that it was bad and I just yeah so I read the first book in the Twilight Saga but yeah that was it that was before I knew what it was and I was just like mm -mm not for me and it was it goes the same for the movies but we were at my cousin's house and we watched like the first movie and that's the only movie I've ever seen out of all five of them I guess and like me and my siblings joke because we're not they don't like Twilight either like our favorite part was when the one vampire breaks Bella's leg and just like the sound like that was like the best part of the whole movie but yeah not a fan and I never plan on either rereading Twilight or kind of continuing on with the series so or even watching the movies for that matter but I think like if I wanted a good laugh and just watch something with bad acting in it I would watch the movies. Next up I feel like this is gonna be semi-controversial because this is a very popular series on booktube and it is an Ember in the Ashes series by Saba Tahir and I read the first book in the series and I would like that's when everyone was hyped about it and I was just like it was just okay like it wasn't anything like spectacular like I did like kind of the world but I just wasn't invested in the characters the plot or anything like it was a very interesting concept but I just didn't really like the execution and I wasn't invested enough in seeing what happens to the characters or like what happens after the first one like I feel like it could have been a standalone really um but yeah I just wasn't a big fan of it it just I don't know like it just didn't wow me and I wasn't invested enough to want to continue on with this series. Next is the Poison Study series because I read the initial like Poison Study like first three books and now there's like expansions of it and I think like the Poison Study series like I think again for this one I feel like the first book I thought the first book was a lot of fun and I think it could have just been a standalone like I think the first book was so good and then it just progressively got worse as the series progressed and yeah I like the first book was a lot of fun I liked it it had a lot of interesting plot points the characters were interesting and then it just steadily got worse as the series progressed and I don't want to continue on with the world or these characters or like anything like that with the expansion of it and yeah it's just I know like the quality just went like declined from the beginning and I feel like I just am not curious enough or invested enough in this world anymore to want to know what happens later on so this is one that it was very disappointing because I feel like the first book started off really good and strong and then it just 
Meow. Next is the selection series. So this is one that my friend wanted to read for our book club. So I read the first three books in like the initial trilogy. And so I don't pick, and it was horrible. Like it was probably one of the worst series I've ever read next to like Twilight. Like it's up there and like just bad. And I hated it. It was like the only like blessing in disguise was that it was very short and I could like finish it very, very quickly. And I was like speed reading it, so. I wasn't like really reading it for content but it was just really bad and like the characters are just so bratty and obnoxious and just immature and like they would get mad at one person for doing something and then they would do the exact same thing and it was just the writing was bad I didn't understand the choices the author made in the last book it was just like it was like a dumpster fire and I'm just not an interested enough to see what happens to these idiots and their children down the road like I don't care and so yeah what obviously you can tell I was not a fan of this trilogy like it's probably one of my least favorite series of all time like I said and it was just bad and like I'm not one to like watch The Bachelor like I think that's like prostitution like close to it so like I don't I didn't like the having like the multiple girlfriends and like dating different people like that was just I wasn't curious enough to like like that and I think this is one that I can be swayed on, and it is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I've read The um, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and Prince Caspian, and I really like those ones. And I remember when I was younger, I was trying to read, what is it, the first book? I don't remember the title of it, but the first book of this series. I think because I was really young, too. I was like seven or eight, and I was just, it was just too much for me. But I really loved, like, the the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe we read in grade three and I loved it and I think for my grade or for my I was in grade six so I was turning 10 and we went to see the Chronicles of Narnia for my birthday like I loved all those things and I like loved Prince Caspian I had a huge crush on the guy who plays Peter still do really but <laughs> um yeah like I don't know like I loved the ones like like I said I love Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and I love Prince Caspian but I don't know if I want to read the whole thing and I like I didn't like realize until like later on that it's like basically an allegory to the Bible and I'm not religious so like that went way over my head with like all of like the religious kind of imagery in here that they use like the author uses so like that's over my head and I was like I don't know if I'd be interested in this if it's kind of like an allegory for that I'm respectful of all religions but it's not like something I enjoy kind of reading about um so I don't know if you guys say it's worth reading it because I haven't read the um like the Narnia two Narnia books that I did enjoy in like probably like 10 plus years so if you think it's worth kind of rereading the whole or just kind of starting from I do have the <laughs> the box bind up of all five or six books or how many are in this series in like one book but you, if you think it is worth reading to like read them from start to finish let me know this is one that I can be swayed on um but yeah that's how I have to feel so if you think it's worth reading all the Narnia books let me know so that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what some of your popular YA series that you don't plan on finishing are and all of that fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time bye guys